I thought I had a lot of time, but I feel like I'm rapidly running out of it. I still need to do the freaking hospital. Actually, I should probably go there right now. Also, I need food. Again. And the town is calling me over here. I still need to see Murky before the end of the day. I must. Let's see what this this town calling me thing is. Is that a kid? Oh, no. Oh, safety pin. Oh, whoops. I was in the repair thing. Yeah, there's nothing of mine they want. What do they trade for? Very picky. I'm about to start taking hunger damage again. Hmm. See if I can trade with these people. Nope. Nope, I think I already traded with you, didn't I? Oh, good water? Good water. Didn't I come from this way? I did. So I already looted these. Look at all the little jerboas. Hippity hoppity. Did you just loot the body? Asshole. Is it worth it to trade water for a tourniquet? No, I need those for tinctures. Alright, why is the town calling me here? It looks like there's a way in back here. Grindstone. Uh oh. It's here. Back here? Oh, it is a cache. <gasps> Schmouter. There's no reason to keep the farewell note, right? Course note. Last chance to leave for the nest. Same price, same place, but I'm a different guide. Make no mistake. Hmm. Same price, same place. So people are like trading and bartering for entrance to the nest. Uh, I, I believe the nest is the polyhedron. Pretty sure. There was even... I don't know what to call it. I guess a sort of demo of sorts called the Marble Nest. That was released. Should I go back to Capella? And give the Schmouter to them? I probably should. Guaranteed survival. Three hours, huh? I'm going to take the fingernails. Sorry, I'll leave everything else. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's no kids here. Ow. Fuck, it's officially nighttime. It's kind of bad, because there's probably going to be less people to trade with, right? Need food, need food, need food. That thing is monstrous. Need food, need food. Wait, I can't go inside? Wait, what? The show's over. It's not just a theater, pal. There's a hospital inside. Entry's forbidden. There's nothing of interest inside. It's all over. What do you mean? 
We received a clear report. Everyone who gets infected dies. There's no cure. There's no chance of salvation. So why would you need a hospital? It only makes the germs swarm. <laughs> I love this. Were you brought up in it? Uh, brought up at an apiary, pal? <laughs> what are you, a bee? But there is a chance, and there is a cure. You got it with you right now? You said you were a doctor, huh? Hmm. I am. If I give you a cure, will you let me in? This division doesn't disobey orders. The general is very strict about the chain of command. Yeah, General Ashes, beast of a man. I've heard a lot about him. Hospital is closed. So... I guess there's just no pest fund anymore, is there? Welp. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do right now, to be honest. I need food. How do I get food? Hmm, young Vlad's in danger. I need to give them something. Is there anybody else I need to give something to? No, just... I should give the Schmouter to Capella. I definitely need to give the Panacea to Murky. I should give an Immunization Increaser to young Vlad and go over here and I have a little bit less than three hours to do it all. Also, I'm dying of hunger. kind of just frozen with indecision. I'm really not sure where to go. Uh, do I just start heading towards one of my goals and hope that I can trade with somebody? My health is pretty low right now. Let's head over here. I don't know, maybe we'll come across something. If I come across a package that can have food, those are pretty rare. Ow. I could bust into some random house. That usually goes over well, huh? I don't know, should I? Knock? Wait. Maybe, maybe I can just trade with them. I forgot that I can just knock and go in and try to trade with people. Can I get a, uh... Trade? No. No, no. Where, where are people? There's a people. That's not food. My exhaustion is high, though, so honestly, I think I want the coffee. Two fingernails. That hurts my soul, but... Mm. I'm not going to have them right now, though, because they decrease my health. That's it? Just the one person? Fuck. Fuck, dude. Come on. Somebody trade with me, somebody trade with me, somebody trade with me, I'm gonna die. Two people. Soap. Why did I take the soap? Technically peanuts would be food, but... Pathetic. Smoked meat. 
You want soap. You want soap. That actually makes some sense. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, soap is like, you know, for me personally, a generally useless thing, but of course some people want soap to stay clean because they don't want to get infected. That makes a lot of sense. But I only have one thing of soap. So, fuck. I don't suppose there's another soap? Mental note, if I find soap, run back to Soap Lady. Safety pins would be nice, but not for any of the things you want. Fuck. Knock on a random door? There's no point in going to the grocery store, right? They won't take money. This is infuriating. I don't know, I'll knock on a random fucking door, I guess. I could just loot their place while I'm in it. That doesn't seem very smart. I feel like they would immediately attack me. That's useless. People, please. Fine, you want a straight razor for a couple peanuts? Is the upstairs always locked? Like, is there no point in going upstairs? Oh. What's going on in here? Fucking... I don't care if you know. I need food. Immunity booster? Anyway, I'm dying again. <sighs> yes, Mark. Can I help you, Mark? The town is undergoing a vicious transformation. Its guts have been rearranged already, disgorging a plethora of neonates. I don't understand. Either we're doing great or we're utterly failing. And it doesn't depend on me anymore. Only on you. Are you human? Can't you tell? If I weren't, I'd never be stuck in this hellhole. You set it all up. Why? You're ascribing diabolical capabilities to me. Please give credit where it's due, which is to say to yourself, I'm blameless. All this, as you put it, started because of you, not me. I just took the chance to experiment in the heart of this triumph of death. Oh, so I'm at fault? Of course, you're a doctor. You could have prevented it, like your father did back then, but you haven't, which I deeply appreciate. Five years ago it rang false precisely because there was no triumph of death. We didn't let it into the town. No one was truly horrified. The actors didn't have time for realizations. A good actor doesn't need to be scared to act out horror convincingly. But my actors are bad. Unprofessional amateurs. We're in a hellhole, remember? I mean, look at yourself. That's what I have to work with. I'd like to be omnipotent, but I'm just an exhausted, desperate director. Nothing more. It's an experiment, isn't it? So shut up and take it in stride. Alright, starting from the last save at Capella's. Even though this sucks, I have a new idea. Let's go down to the shady shop. Cause, holy shit, I need food. Also, look at how limited my, uh, my max health is. It's at like 60% of what it could potentially be. Well, this is before I drank, isn't it? 
Wait, I still have a water bottle on me? Okay. Alright, you fucker, how much do you want for fresh meat? Almost all my money. Great. That's reasonable. Alright then. Four twenty. Nice. Ooh, I have a lot of bloody bandages. It's gonna be good for the dead item shop. This fuck. Greedy fucker. Anyway, this is going to solve all of my hunger problems for the foreseeable future. Of course, the foreseeable future in Pathologic 2 is like two hours. <sighs> Don't need to worry about that anymore. Now I just need to worry about exhaustion. So now where do I go? I mean, I'm kind of near murky. Do, ah, three hours. Like, I don't really... I don't really feel like I have time to go back and brew tinctures. Actually, it doesn't even matter anyway. I've got a lot of bottles, but they're all empty. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to murky. Worry about my exhaustion now, though. That'll hurt me just as fast as food does. I think you're about to get much, much smaller. So much smaller. Kinda. You're taller than I thought. There's my doll. Who will feed it? I don't know, sorry. I've protected everyone I could as much as I could. Yeah, that's everyone protected. The only person who's not completely cured is Capella, but they have a very strong chance of survival. Hmm. So now I want to get over here. There's no point in visiting the theater, right? They're just going to bar me entry anyway. I would like to visit up here, though, to get the schmouter, but I can't imagine that's actually, according to the note, the Jerboas might eat it, so that actually might disappear at midnight. Hmm. Any 
Anyway, for now, uh, I'm really worried about my exhaustion. But for now, let's run across here and up here to Aglaia. There's a way up right here. Is there? Yeah. I don't remember what Var sells bandages. Do I have any money? I don't have much money. But I could buy a couple bandages. Um... Yeah, all right, all right, I'll pay him a visit. If there's any bad person around here, I can just do a little cut, cut, snip, snip. Get some organs, that'd be nice. Ooh, this is just a straight enter, which means there's probably bad people in here. Risky. Risky. I'm not so low on health that I can't take a hit, though. Let's go check. If I could just stab one and just take a couple organs, just a couple. Come over, come over here. Mm, that sounds like too many. Wait, actually, I think that was a homeowner. And somebody attacking the homeowner with a knife. Was that it? But then aren't I an intruder in the home as well? Yeah, yeah, hmm, um, hmm. I don't like that. Hey Var, can I sleep at your place? Can I sleep like on your Africa bloodstain? Or something? Use it as a bed? Is that fine? It's a flat surface. I could sleep there. Well, one tourniquet, one bandage. I guess that's gonna have to do, huh? Good amount of health, but that will go down fast when I start getting hurt from exhaustion, which is going to happen in within a minute. However, I do have enough health that I feel pretty confident that I can go in one of these houses now. Let's try this one. Although I have very little stamina now that I think about it. Hmm. How much time do I have? A couple hours. And I just need to go over here. That's the only thing I really have to do for today. I'd like to go over there. Uh, Oh god. Oh. There was one, and then there was like four. Jesus. I was heading over to the shady food store, but I found somebody willing to trade pemmican for... I don't know, a 
red thread and a thimble, I guess. I kind of wanted to keep those, but this way I don't have to spend an exorbitant amount of money on food. This should uh, keep me... Mm. Mm. That's not great. I'm debating whether I still want to go to the shady shop. Maybe, I, I think I do. I don't need it now, 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 but like when I go to sleep, you know, I'm going to need it and it's desperately hard to get food when I don't have coupons. Bought the fresh meat from the shady salesman. Haven't eaten it yet though. I want to wait till my hunger pretty much maxes out. Figured also while I'm here, I should really, uh, what did I drop here? Oh, the suspicious note. I should really give the immunity booster to little Vlad while I'm here. Wait. Wait, right. Little Vlad disappeared. Shit. Uh. Well then. Hmm. My hunger is now appeared on the screen. It's pretty much maxed out, so let's take the fresh meat. I have so many bottles of water, but they're empty. More than two stacks. I can make so many tinctures. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go back to Murky, give them the panacea, and then head back over here. Right by Var's place. While kind of running there, I accidentally encountered an enemy on the streets. I'm really worried about that, so I went inside of a house just to avoid them for a second, but there's enemies in here, of course, so I'm going to go out, just pop out, and try to stab them. Get my stamina back a little bit. Oh, they left. I'm going to deliberately kill them to take their organs. Um, I'll come back for them later. Fuck. Oh my god. I suck. I suck. I wasn't sure whether to run or just kill him. I thought I could take him, but I didn't have the stamina. At least I have a save more near. Yes. Mm, if you don't care about yourself, have mercy on me, at least. Yes, have mercy on me. Fuck off. Ooh, we have a fight on the edge of town with a soldier, which means surely they're going to die. Yes? No, 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 no. I need your organs! I need your organs! I think they're going into a dead end. <clears throat> Fuck. Shoot him. Fucking hell, dude. Now's my chance. I don't care. Who knows? Uh, no, give me the most important ones first. Ooh, the man whose finger gives you low chance of damage for everything. I don't... I don't want to risk breaking man whose finger, so I'm going to back off. Alright, yeah, I can sell that for a bit. Didn't actually need that organ to get bandages and stuff, but it's nice. 600 for that. Oh, actually, I needed that to get the second tourniquet. Yeah, that was the problem. Okay. Great. I'm still dying of exhaustion, but... I have a bit more time now. 
Are they interested in anything else of mine? Literally nothing, not even rings. All right. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to have time to go there and get the schmouter. I hope it's still there tomorrow. I'm going to go over here. I should go here to save as well. Don't want to be too loud, but I don't want to be unnecessarily slow. Yeah, we're good. Aren't they infected? Yes. Um... I feel comfortable giving them... I don't need to treat anyone else today, right? I've treated all the most important people. I don't have anything in particular against this person. They're weird. They wear one sock. That's about it. That told me nothing. Let's take the pain away. Some of it. Very little of it. Ah, it's in the bone. Definitive. Alright, you most likely will be fine. Oh man, that really raised my esteem around here. Anyway, where's the save point? Oh, it's upstairs. The Bachelor? Hey. Have you finished that cup of coffee yet? Oh right, I could sleep here. Even though it doesn't say it, I can. Which is super, super weird. Okay, well I'm taking damage from exhaustion, but you know what, I have enough health that I can go do the Aglaia thing, and then come back and sleep. I'm just gonna be bunking in the bachelor's bed. They don't mind, right? Paper rustling? Is that bad grief or, or what? No, I can't talk with them. Better to die on a playground than a battleground. I have the proof I need to demolish that tower of death. This is a goodbye, then, Artemy Burach. Over these last few days, you have truly become significant to me. Perhaps the one person I care about. The children seem to think it's a tower of life. Children also throw bullets into fires and believe in the Tooth Fairy. You seem to hold a personal grudge against that building. Yes, demolishing it is my life's work. I can say it safely now, because I'm not long for this world. Why are you so sincere all of a sudden? I deeply respect open-minded people, unconstrained by whatever is imposed upon them, capable of finding less obvious connections. It's a skill poets have. And step surgeons, it seems. Uh, what's the word? Emshen, a knower of lines. Well, let us part as friends. For the first time, I say this to someone I wanted to create patterns with. What's wrong? Today I will be killed. By whom? The military would never miss a shot at an Inquisitor. We always hinder their advances. They pay us back in kind. I know they have the order. 
They must. This isn't my first year on the job. You need to flee, then. I've thought about it. Send a courier in my place, or better yet, three. But no, that would be cowardice. Give me the papers. I'll take them to the town hall. And you'll get arrested immediately. Can you afford that? No. Fleeing, what's the point? What is there for me to flee to? We live in a large country. Lots of places to lie low for a bit. With a mind like yours, creating a new life will be simple. You've turned my world upside down again, Artemi Burrah. A self-taught backward surgeon. Fine. I'll send three couriers with the papers to the headquarters. And I'll leave town tonight. I have that option. But only if you come with me. Ha! <laughs> no! Can I actually do that? If I do that, what happens? Does the game just end? I have a duty to those people who have also become special to me. You don't have a duty. You came here to conquer fate. This is how it's done. Is it now? Do you know why I marked you among many others? You gave me the key. You showed me that people can simply disregard those who pull their strings, those who set your path for you. They tell you what victory is, but it's a lie. It rings false. True victories breaking through the walls, changing the rules of the game. Come on, make up your mind. But what about the children? Wake up, Burrach. There are no children. None of this is real. But what about the tower? What if your couriers fail to deliver the papers? The town is in chaos. The hell with the tower. An hour ago, I wished to settle the score with those who sent me here, irreversibly stifling my life. Now I don't care. Something unique occurred during our conversation. Something so important, I'm comfortable changing my plans. It's happening to you too. Don't deny it. It's very intriguing. But a father's duty is my duty. I can't. Even if it's all over, even if they're dead or doomed, what else could I do? You'll be enslaved to the words inside your head, to the story made before you. Not even made for you, but for someone else. What for? Even that girl Clara knows the more we twist in the spider's web, the worse we make it. For ourselves and others. My father did say, whatever you make, it won't be the wrong choice. You're smarter than me. So I don't think Isidore would disapprove of leaving, but I can't. No. If I doom everything by doing this, so be it. But I can't abandon them. My conscience is more important to me. You made your choice, then. You were right. Fleeing would be a coward's choice. You cannot afford it, so neither can I. So be it, then. Maglai has ordered the polyhedron to be demolished. The couriers with her orders will reach their headquarters in the morning. Should I make sure that they get there safely, or that they don't? So I could kill the couriers and they'll never receive the order and they won't demolish the polyhedron? But I agree that it should be demolished, just, you know, we need to get the people out of it first. Goliath's busy now, not the time to see her. 
Aglaia's mission is complete, so you suggested we flee. Absurd. I have children. I have the town. I'm not going anywhere. And why is this still here? I don't understand. It must be bugged, I guess. Oh, hey. Aglaia's reflection. It has never happened to me before. What's never happened to you before? Something strange is happening to me. I could put it into, into words, and yet I do not have the words. It's weakness. I must purge it from my heart. A wise man once said, what we first consider weakness is in fact our source of greatest strength. Speak to me. What about? I don't know, just speak. Touch me with your words. Which words do you wish me to touch you with? I don't care. I mean, no, I do care. I can't talk about it. Are you scared? Perhaps. Yes, you may be right. Enough. This is weakness. No more. I refuse it. No means no, and this is the final word I'll speak to myself. You really are alive, huh? Warm blood and a beating heart. Who would have guessed? I want to see if there's anything up here, maybe. I don't see why Barley the Barber would be some sort of a thing that I can do up here. But, you know. I love the squeaky sounds it makes. All right, nothing up there. Um, 20 minutes until the end of the day, and then we see who lives. I think quite a few people are going to die, but almost certainly none of the children. Slight, slight chance with Capella, but it's unlikely. I should head to Ava's place so that I can sleep. So nervous for the end of the day. Ten minutes. Seven minutes. Three minutes. This is it. The trap is shut. Finish all your business before morning. A new pantomime is being rehearsed at the theater. 13,000 people have died. They shut down the fund. They shut down the hospital. There's no one left to save. Oh, I forgot about Aspity. Oh no, I forgot about Aspity. They're all right. They're all right. They're, uh, okay. Nice. Cool. I guess I don't particularly care about them. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. We're good. No particular feelings about the kinds? Jesus, are they all dead? Non-infected. Good. Okay. No one that I really care about died. 
So now it's only Georgie kind that's alive, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I can see these ones have become grayish. Indicating that the occupants are dead. Twelve days. Not so many, but enough. One more day has passed. The town shifts. Something stirs in the theater. Something stirs within you. The fund has a reward for me? Excuse me? It's probably just something I didn't get rid of. Right? No? Okay, that's weird. The town is still calling me, so I think I can still get the schmouter. This quest, I think, is just bugged or something. I don't know. I'm just going to ignore it. I can still sleep here, right? Yes. I don't want to sleep too long, so I want to make it to the theater and the dead item shop, etc., etc. But I do need to sleep. I don't have any of my good painkillers, unfortunately, so I'll have to just take morphine, which I think... Doesn't that, like, hurt me or... Oh, I thought I had a bad result. Like, slightly bad result to begin with, and then things got better as you slept, but uh, I guess not. Anyway. Two hours? Yeah, that's... that's good. Yeah. You know, I really should stop playing and just go eat, but like... I just kind of can't stop playing this game. Oh, you need more medicine already, don't you? Well, I think I should ration what I've got. There's a lot of infected people. I want to make sure, like, Saba stays alive. Capella, of course. I'm just going to outright cure them. When I find uh, the uh, Schmouter over here. Um, yeah, let's just go to the theater. I have a lot of things for the dead item shop, and the dead item shop should have a lot of food. Oh no. There I'm not. Hey! We cool? Concerned one. How can I help you, doctor? What are those sounds? What sounds? Upstairs, second floor. Are they the lookouts? It's a cat. I love cats. Can I come up and pet it? This is neighborly business, doctor. We don't need you here. Get the hint already. Fine, I'll send orderlies here then. Would you rather deal with them? I, I thought they might just try to kill me, but no? This is all a farce. General Block never came here. He's at the front. He's always been to the front, I'm telling you. People have seen him, here, in the town hall. Those are lies, spread around so that any idiot could give out orders like they'd received them from the great hero General Block. Why would he ever come to our hellhole? We don't deserve the honor. Stranger things have happened. Do I want to trade for the red thread? For a ring? It's a bad trade. That's a bad trade. Alright, wh whatever. I'm just leaving. I just came in here to avoid some baddies. Ooh, fingernail. water? Good water. It's 
somebody chasing me? Han is in danger of being infected. I don't have any good tinctures right now, though I really got a brew. So I don't think I'm going to give anything to anybody. Unless there's someone I don't particularly care about, then I might give them some not plus tinctures, you know? This is considered a new day, so there's going to be new stuff in the containers, right? Oh shit, this is infected too. Am I... Oh, I'm around the back of the theater. Let's go this way. Rotten food. I don't care about that. Shall I speak with a rat prophet? Farewell, Burach. Farewell? Why? The tumor is complete, see? The ulcer is ripe now, grasping at the sky with its metastases, growing into it. Now it's sewn to the ground forever, unable to escape. So now what? Me? I'm just a trash rat, Burach. Field voles make nests from herbs. I make mine from rot, so to speak. I'll climb up there and inhabit it, spitting down rot on your heads from above. <laughs> okay. How are you going to climb it? You have no hands. It'll suck me in, and you too. It'll suck the whole world in, because you've rotted it all. It's all just metastases and tumors now. None of us will have hands or feet soon. Don't you try to shift the blame to me? I wasn't the one who made this plague happen. So that's its final form. Everything is of equal value. Everything is pregnant with connections. Even things which have nothing in common. Everything has the potential to be connected. This is the way things reacquire meaning. All that surrounds us is a living organism with its own blood flow and metabolism. Plague is part of this flow. Frightening but logical. It kills humans. But what is a human? Humanity itself is comparable to a microbe, just as small, blind, and absurd. No. Humanity is a loom. Or it's shuttle, to be precise. Humans are actually quite decent. I'll have you know that I like them. A shuttle, whatever. The role of a human is still unattractive. Choosing nothing, moving along a preordained path. Compare and contrast to the plague. It gets into any crack, connects all that there is. So, who is the paragon of animals here? I wonder. But what about the town, huh? It is, after all, the next step. Towns come to life, and they're closely connected to the Earth. Much more closely than people, if they're friends with it, friends with the blood flow of the Earth. If they can bear all it can grant them, consider an unusual ulcer, which the Earth would die without. An ulcer that connects all things. 
If it left, all would die, leaving behind a machine. Towns are built by people, so let people build them as machines. You say towns shall inherit the earth, replacing people, like people once replaced mammoths. I don't believe it. Let's not make hasty conclusions. Children inherit the earth too, and kids are smarter than their parents. I've always hated your grandiosity and silly generalizations. We'll see. Let us stand watch. Let us see what morning brings. Where is the dead item shop? Hmm. I was hoping it'd be closer because I'm dying of hunger right now. Um, okay, well, I, I need the schmouter. Let's get that right now. Don't I have another tourniquet? Yes. Well, buy me slightly more time. Hello, goodbye. Shit, 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 shit. Did it hit me, actually? It might not have. The Jerboas have not gotten it. I'll leave the rest. Five, six, seven. I've got about three hours. The fun has a reward for me, even though I didn't do any work. Why do I feel like that's a trap? But if they actually do, then that's food. Hmm. I'm gonna go, but I'm suspicious. Potential water? Try to kill me. You are. Doesn't matter though. All right, this better not be a trap. Hmm. Hmm. What if I just ignore you? Can I just? Can I just get my stuff? Ooh, hello. They actually did give me something. Not that much, but something. Probably the military's orders. What did I get? Oh, farewell note. I'll just drop that, I guess. Did any of the food go into my inventory? Is that all just too big? Eat. Eat. Oh no, 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 don't, don't put the gloves on. I'm deliberately not storing them there. I wonder if I should use a bandage, because if I sleep soon, then I don't need it, and I might be wasting the bandages. Yeah. Yeah. I won't use them. Is there anything else I can do to free up space? Is there anything that's just, like, kind of worthless? Not really, this is all pretty good stuff. I mean, I guess I don't need black twire, I think I have a lot of that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, who are you? 
Uh, let me save it, and then I'll talk to these people. Officer. Name? Artemy Burah. Doctor. Where's General Block? State your business. I want to report my progress with a curative serum. The general is sick. The provisional executive officer is Captain Longin. Uh, I'm a doctor. Let me examine the general. General Block is out sick. Captain Longin is now in charge of the quarantine measures. You can try your luck with him when he's back. Where's the general? I'd like to examine him and prescribe treatment. I'm not authorized to divulge that information. The general is quarantined and attended to. You can go. Wait, how did the general get infected? He caught it while evacuating everyone under the age of 16. I mean, we already know children were evacuated, so this doesn't make any sense. I guess we'll do that. What do you think you're doing? The door is over there, Doctor. I don't like this at all. Does the Commissar, Aglaia Lilich, know about this? Over there. You people are dousing fire with kerosene. Here to get coupons? Quite so. Any chance you might have seen the hunger and ruin going around? It's called emergency conditions. To help you maintain a semblance of life, our kind benefactor, Inquisitor Aglaia Lilich, introduced centralized distribution of food in exchange for coupons. It's called rationing due to low stock. Well done learning all those long words. What do I do with money now? I feel like I was supposed to talk with him a long time ago. Don't offer money to the merchants, uh-huh. Um, so are you taking the coupons or not? I mean, I... Do you have more coupons to give me than what was in the storage thing? Sure. How many coupons do they give me? Because I already had some. I have three. They must have given me at most one. Name and occupation. I can, <laughs> I can say that I'm Daniel Dinkowski. <laughs> Artemy Burah, doctor. Oh, a doctor. On General Block's orders, the local public fund will now be managed by the military. And take your payment as usual. Equal shares for everyone. What do you mean, equal? Ugh. Five, six, seven, two hours. Hmm. I almost want to go down and just see if anybody's in the jail. I don't know why, I'm just curious. Nope, that was the cell where the one person was a long time ago. I guess they finally died and were taken out. I should check this place and go to the dead item shop over here. We're doing good on stats. Yeah. I guess I should also buy some food. Just for the sake of getting these out of my inventory. Because whatever I buy, I mean, three tickets isn't going to buy me that much. I'm sure I could eat whatever I buy. But before I do that, I think this is a good time to end the episode. If for no other reason, then I need to go eat. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to see if I can find some schmouter in the cache that's over here, and go to the dead item shop. <laughs>